This could not help Garrett. Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolya, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. I just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Working on it. Still need one who knows an entire vestry by heart.
Ah, there you are. You Halberd here, number two, is in the props room crying. A pop and you. I need a fire. Ah, there you are. You in a club. Halberd here, number two, is in the props room and you. All right, let's start. I want to get this over with. Everyone says so before their first time. Afterwards, it's impossible to drag them off the stage. You'll see. You'll love it. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pressy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, A Changeling Rescued or the Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear... Long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark. 
tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love, for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish, changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her. Sure of it. Oh, uh, I just thought you might want to see. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. 
I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh, a fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it, though another just as bad or worse would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. Or lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Manga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. We could use a bit of support. Let me talk to Dijkstra. Catch him in a good mood and he just might lend us a few bodies. We'd manage. We would. We're just my lads. But if you miss Siggy that much... He's the one's got a soft spot for me. Said so himself recently. Whoa! Wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga. Live like Chappelle. Burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances. No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Geralt! Take care now. Oh. What's where you're walking? Do we calls?
Come on. Just good. Meaning? After Radovid pop. Thought you two. We were. Recently mentioned you uh, have something of a soft spot for me. Could I ask you a favor? Oh, -ho -ho -ho. that's quite the start, Carol. What's it you want? Need to carry out an ambush. Could use a few of your men. An ambush? What's this about? Give me men who will survive the fight. They can tell you afterwards. <laughs> I like you, Geralt. That's why I'll give you not one, not two, but three of my best men. Three's enough. Then it's settled. Bloody easy. Nice razors you got there. Eh?
seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! But it was the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Even go. Let her stay. Look at her. Oh, weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure, let's play. This was a stupid idea. You're the one who wanted to play. They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here.
dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. Leave these here to us. Rode through Watch here. Shit. Lost Three it. Gotta look for tracks. Hole. are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Run, Roach. Hoofprints. Not so fast, also Roach. Praise the eternal fire. Shave your mug. Anyone right through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, why? Something of the kind, dash by. But twere a wench you were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. Go, go. Hmm. Looks like it might have started limping. What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out where we could so much as fart in protest! There another man with him, tall, dark-haired? Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded himself inside? There another way in? Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone, but he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! 
What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Well, he wasn't exactly thrilled. Hey, while you were at it, you didn't think to put in a good word for me, did you? Something like... I never intended to cheat him, and if he harms a hair on my head, he'll have you to deal with. No, but I'll make sure to mention it next time. <sighs> Thanks. Adventures are great, 
but they can be hard to write up if you're fingerless. Which is not to say Horson would stop at that. What about Siggy Reuven? How's he doing? Fine, last I heard. Oh, that's too bad. Because I have a sneaking suspicion he might be a teeny bit mad at me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foley. Gladiv don ep tonight, Bundro isne iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm on. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Aye. Get out, pal. Oh, 
You gotta take risks and not get fucked. Did you see those poor wretches who fed Vela? Got a minute? I do. Time was on. Got things to do. Discretionary tribute to benefit <laughs> Redania or exile? How is business? Well, look who's here. Ergen Trap. I thought you'd say like... in the bathhouses. I don't, but my doctor Six prescribed. Burnt flesh. Shoulder pain. Can they not burn those tires the beyond the sea? Hot water is the best remedy. You know what's I even better on this board is a Zeracanian massage. I highly recommend it. Sweat like a swine in that jacket. Trouble? I know you from somewhere. Whoa! Don't touch me. Let us pray to the eternal fire that it may grant our supplications. Barbarian. Got that. So long. Good day. Or as we say back home, prosperous dealing. Oh, what a freak. Thank you, Vanadaf. How could I... What are you serving? See you later. Uh, I must see a mega. Ah! Hold on! Me? Oh, I drink. I was going to bet out my own business when suddenly up in the box in the news. Ah! What did it do from the lies? I repeat, do not get in my way. That's a threat.